What's up guys, my name's Collins Newey. Post Up is my stream and I'm thrilled to be bringing you guys the 2024 US Open Championships out of Griff's Bar and Billiards. We're gonna be bringing you US Open 10 ball, US Open 8 ball, US Open bank pool, and US Open one pocket straight through every day till March 16th. We're bringing it to you live from Griff's Bar and Billiards right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know, I don't treat my stream like a typical pool stream. I don't treat it like that sports broadcast model. I treat it like I'm hanging out with you guys at home in the chat, super interactive, fun, lighthearted. We get down and we have a good time. The best part is, if you don't like that style, you can just hit the mute button and enjoy some of the best pool in the world. It's basically a who's who of the best players from around the world. Either way, come check it out and let's have some fun. But make sure to share the stream at this point, guys. If you haven't fed the algorithm yet, now's the time to do it. This is the match that everybody wants to watch. This is currently Winner's side action with at the final eight position on the winner's side. Eight players left on the winner's side. Here comes the lag, guys. Carlo Biato, current world champion, Predator world champion. Ten ball versus SVB, Captain America. SVB wins the lag. And as much as, as hyped as this song is and as hyped as this match is, I'm going to skip this song for now. It's a little bit too much right out the gate. We do play the, uh, the music in the background to cover any copyright music that the venue plays because the jukebox is rolling. And we don't want to run into any copyright issues on YouTube or Facebook. So thanks for understanding. I know... That the music isn't to everyone's taste, I'm sure, but you're never going to pick some music that everybody likes. I do my best, but let's uh, dive into this match. SVB to break. What is the name of this channel broadcasting this match? Uh, this is Post Up. This is my stream. My name's Collins Newey. I've been streaming for a couple years now, two and a half years. Stream weekly out of uh, Hard Times Billiards, Sacramento, California. And was lucky enough to land this gig when uh, Melina Mike and Brandon Birch reached out to me. Thrilled to be here, guys. I'm having a blast. Sticky spot out the gate. I would assume you'd be uh, playing safe here because there's nothing nothing really on offer with the two. I don't think you can get there. But we'll see. Do they have a good IPA on tap for you at Griff's? You know, I haven't been drinking IPAs lately. They got Mango Card on tap, though. Mango Card is really good. Is this two ball makeable from that long rail? Let's get another poll going. Good idea, Javi Raps. The poll going up on YouTube chat. Who's going to win it? At the top of the chat. There it is. The poll just went live. Let's see what you guys think. What a shot. Are you kidding with me? <laughs> just no hesitation walks up and puts it down. He's got almost the whole pocket on the three ball. Seven ball might come into play. You could clip the edge on the way in.
That is, of course, unless your name is Carlo Beato and you cheat the pocket from this far away. Did you see that? It went clean into this side of the pocket. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Is the cue ball going to come up short here? Slippery cloth. Slippery cloth. Maybe a little extra overspin off the rail. The cue ball died. Look at him not even, not even flinch. Carlo Beato doesn't even flinch. He's got work to do. He's playing SVB. He's hunting for results. Look at the intensity in his eyes. Six. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Shake it off. Shake it off. Never in doubt. Just picked up my daughter from school. Can you say hi, Jayla? Did you know your dad is the best pool player in the whole universe, Jayla? Did you know that? Plays the cue ball all the way around the table. Guarantees the proper angle. Going into the short rail, this rack is over. Well, and then you spoke. Does anyone remember this shot? Didn't this shot happen to Carlo Beato recently? Oh, never mind. The nine's not frozen. The nine is not frozen. Neither ball's frozen. I take it back. This shot is not the shot I'm talking about. Or was that, was that Superman? I can't remember. Roberto Gomez, maybe, was in that spot. Boom, just throw it in. And the break. This guy looks just unreal form, guys. Wow, obsessor coming with the the shot call of Beato nine to zero. I don't know about that one. I think there's a pretty good chance that in four racks, four breaks, Shane has a decent chance of uh, breaking and running. At least one of them. Oh, it would be five because he won the lag, too. SVB won the lag. Minimum five breaks for SVB. Cue ball kissed twice, three times, four times off the eight. Two ball hangs in the corner. Nothing down. Seven ball ties up on the ten. We are playing early 10s here, though. I don't know if the 10 is wired in the bottom right corner. SVB delicately moving the max rack. Don't wire it up, SVB. If he moves both the balls, it's technically a foul because this is cue ball fouls only. And it does not look wired to the corner. Definitely pointing at the short rail. It's actually pointing at the tip of the max rack. So. Oh, it's about time you showed up. I thought you would want to watch this match. I did. I do. I mean, I do. Of course I do. But I uh, was trying to coordinate the rest of the evening for all the fans at home. So just trying to get all that ironed out. Dude, there's so many good matchups right now. Victor's playing Francisco. What's up with Oliver and Federer? I didn't check the score. Four to three now. Oh, okay. Federer's coming back. Here at, at, a, at the top of the hour should be Filler and Levan will be 
on uh, Windows Open. And maybe you can see the Francisco and Victor matchup in the background. And we're going today, buddy. We're playing down today. Deep. Deep? Yeah. It's going like, to be a long, a long, long night. Okay. We're going down to like final eight? Um, yeah, maybe somewhere in that range. Okay. You know, so. Because we're getting close to that point on the winner <sighs> side, actually, after this match. It's, it's final four on the winner side after this match. Yeah. We're going to have to just... We'll figure out a nice little balance here in a little bit, yeah. you know, so. Because either, either they're going to, you know, play through tonight and then be waiting all day tomorrow or. Or. Um, We're going to try to finish the 10 ball. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Evening. Tomorrow. That's the plan. Yeah. That's the plan. So. I think it's a good plan. Yeah. In the meantime, SVB trying to deal with this rack and the seven ball looks tied up. Maybe the seven goes in the, the right-hand side pocket. Doesn't seem like Shane is giving it much um, attention. So maybe it's a fairly trivial position that he finds himself in, maybe. Uh, it looks like my copyright music has stopped, so I want to make sure that we play it in case something comes up on the jukebox. There we go. The seven ball past the ten columns? It doesn't go in the bottom left. No? You play in the side? I'm almost certain. Play in the side? I would think. Can you hit that spot? Ooh, no. Ooh, maybe it goes. Does it go? Oh, here. It looks like, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, it goes yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got on the wrong side of the six here, though. I'll tell you, if anyone's got a big, sh a big stroke... He's going to cheat the pocket and draw back to right where he pointed on the right where his chalk is. His cues, the cue ball is going to hit near where his chalk is. And cheat the pocket. Nice shot there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought for sure that seven ball was tied up. All right, I'm going to go start the other table and just let it go. So the second can, stream? Yeah, just yeah. so I can come hang out in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Let me do that. I think Levan's about ready to get warming up. Josh is, I think, getting some lunch because he's been playing. What a performance by him, huh? Josh Filler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's going to – I mean, him, he and Carlo uh, – I mean, Carlo played the last rack on Shane's break, by the way. This is Carlo's break. This rack was Carlo's break. But on Shane's break, he played that rack, like, just unconscious, like – the shots that he was just treating like hangers it's like it's a joke really yeah. Yeah. it's crazy shane followed that ball forward two rails to guarantee that he got away from the long rail with the cue ball giving himself comfortable bridging position and he ties the game at 1-1 skip this song this songs a little bit all right i'm gonna go start that stream leave ends warming up so just yeah i'll be back buddy okay where's leave and corteza who is he playing josh filler oh wow guys windows open josh filler leave and corteza if there was ever time if there was ever a time to multi-screen pull out the tablet and the laptop Pull out the laptop and the cell phone. Figure it out. Get your lives together. You got to watch both these matches, man. Chip Elkins coming in with a $5 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chip. Windows open. Just search, go to YouTube, or sorry, pardon me, scratch that. Go to Facebook and search Windows open.
Real close to the work, giving him all the freedom in the world to do whatever he wants with the cue ball here. Thank you, Terran. There it is. Is his cue ball going to get there? It's coming up short, guys. Just a touch short. It's a makeable shot. As Feder was talking about earlier, Shane sure loves moving his cue ball, so if there's a way to get there multiple rails, he's going to find it. Hey, Harmless, thank you so much, man. My name's Collins Newey. Yeah. Yeah, it laid real nice. Didn't even have to worry about contact with the six ball. He's on the wrong side of the six, though. I mean, if he's dead straight, it really doesn't matter, guys. Let's be honest. The seven's sitting right over the hole. Right? He could stop the rock, take the cut, and go three rails to the eight. He could roll forward a little bit, go one rail to the eight. I mean, there's so many options. Uh... And uh, his name is Shane Van Boning. Shane Van freaking Boning. So. Okay. <laughs> exactly my point. Holy shot. Good lord, that stroke by Shane. <laughs> or just do that. Wow. So what happened? This is on uh, Carlos break or Shane's break? This is Shane's break. Break and run? Yes. Wow. Okay. With a hell of a shot on this. Let me show you the shot, man. I'm going to pull it up on the YouTube replay. He went through that rack so freaking fast. <laughs> Hold on, let's watch Carlo break and then I'll play the replay for everybody. Wow, like a picture perfect break. Did you see how symmetrical that was? That was crazy. Here we go, guys. A little replay for this stroke shot from the man himself, Shane Van Boning. <whistles> With outside spin for a perfect angle on the seven. Unreal. Carlo Biano just hooked, him, hooked himself. Did he? Yep, you can tell by the head scratch. Dead giveaway. No way. Just out of nowhere. This is Runs into half the nine and hooks himself. Wow. What a moment. We just got a little PayPal from Germany. Bischoff. Volker Bischoff. Very cool. Thank you, man. Nice. Showing some love. That's right. Tried to make it. Cue ball is going to dress up real nice here, though, and the five ball right next to the four, that's going to be a dead sellout. Carlo knows it. Dead sell out. Let's look at some live scores, Collins, while we got some matches going. Cena and Vitali. 5-5. Five, five. Oliver 5-4. Five, Over Fetter, Paul Song, and Andre 
No, no clue. Five four. FSR and Victor four four. Albin's up five three. Max Lechner four two over Wow, Corral. we got some serious matchups going on right what now, the guys. Heck? <laughs> this dude right here looks dialed in, though. Yeah, it looks He's like looking dialed in. Well, to be fair, he just played a match on this table like less than two hours ago. So, well, there, well there's that. This is winter side action. U.S. Open 10 ball championship 2024 live from Griff's. SVB, any losses? No, this is winner's side matchup, guys. Winner's side action. Just quick glance over here at the... Uh, couple of matches that we have going on on this other side of the room. Oliver Ruger versus Federer Gorst. Oliver had put Federer in a interesting spot getting up on him four to two and then if you want to watch this match right here between Lee Van Corteza and um, Brain Fart who's he playing? Filler. On your side. Filler, yeah. Filler. The other guy that doesn't lose. Uh, if you want to watch that match check it out on Windows Open on Facebook. This is not the finals. There are, I believe, eight left on the winner's side. And the matchups are getting outrageous. Great transition, buddy. You like that? Yeah. I like that makes, too. Look at that break. Look at that cue ball, nine. man. Five ball finds a pocket. One ball. Not going to go quite enough to the side it's pocket, but bank, it's, though. it's, it's a bank. bankable shot. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him pointing at the rail and saying, you need to bounce up higher, yeah. buddy. Talking to the one ball. Say, listen, next time I hit you. We are streaming. PD Chestnut asks, are you guys streaming the eight ball as well? We are live every day until March 16th. We're rolling straight through Dude, into that's 8 12 ball. 12 more days of none of this non unbelievableness. Yeah. 8 ball next, then bank pool, then one pocket. He's going, boys. Oh yeah. He is going. He looks a little less than thrilled here. I mean, it looks like, you know, make the ball. Touch it inside. It's not an easy shot. But he's that guy, you know. Touch it inside. Just come straight across the table. Play the three in the same pocket. Four balls hanging over the corner. Doesn't really matter what angle you end up with on the three. Hit it great. He hit it. It's the middle of the absolutely hole. Absolutely great. Gets a nice draw angle where he can let that stroke out. We've been seeing Shane come with the stroke shots recently. Imagine he just. Oh, he just stops the rock. Imagine he just keeps it simple, stupid. This is the SVB that we know and love, Collins. You know, he's, yeah. You know, when he, it's so when, fun to when watch. When he gets like this, and he's had, a, he's had the most success at these Mark Griffin U.S. Opens. Yeah. Over the years, so it's over, funny he shakes his head, but it's well, like the overall position yeah, a little I, he bit. He did, but like, man, I, you know, I wish this would have been like perfect, even easier than automatic for Shane Van Boning. Yeah. Let the stroke out, Shane. Do the Shane Van Boning shot. Oh. Rip it. Rip it, baby. Come on. We all want to see it. He's not going to do it. No? No. He's yeah. just going to cinch wah, it and take, wah, the, wah. take the boring shot. Just no. kidding. <laughs> yeah. Jokes aside. Yeah. That's the obviously. 
obviously the higher percentage shot. I mean, if you're looking at the percentage leads. Here we go. <laughs> are, we, are we living in the past? If you're a post up OG, you I get got. That one. I know you do. You know. You know. I look forward to that. All right. All right. Shane Van Boning coming in with a four to one lead over the world champion. Let's go. Great matchup, Carlo man. Sprinting to the table. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. running out there. He's like, like, yeah, okay, we hey, get it. It's let yeah. me run some balls too, yeah. man. I want to do that. Correct. It's a double elimination tournament, guys. If if whoever loses here is still in the in the running. Fedor Gorst takes the long shot on the ten ball. And it's true double elimination. No redraw, no nothing. Look at that square hit. Something going on with the audio? Oh, and he's not going to have a shot. Oh, maybe he will. It's tough to tell. It's a little funky, though. Audio's cutting in and out. Let me check it out, guys. Okay. So half the chat is saying audio issues. Half the chat is saying no audio issues. If you're having audio issues, I'm having clean. I'm dropping no frames. I'm having a good upload rate. If you're having issues on your end, it might be a YouTube issue. Go ahead and refresh your page. Give that a shot and see if it resolves the issue. Plays the carom and he's going to sell out a shot on the one ball here. He can't. You can't do anything. Yeah, it's like a it's a it's a fifty it's a fifty split way, in the chat, guys. Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have to try to refresh the page. That's the best I got for you. Thank you guys. Thanks for all the uh Teamwork. Teamwork, yeah. The SVB show. I mean I can mute everything for a second and then turn it back. There, just cycled my audio. Everything's looking good. Dig Nomad says the refresh worked. So yeah, yeah, it's a YouTube thing, guys. Just give it a little refresh. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Must be nice to hit the ball like that. Oh, <laughs> dude, that is, wow. That is brutal. Wow. <laughs> Adio, Viado. <laughs> well, I know we just had audio issues, so I haven't had a chance to watch the beginning of this rack, but was it, uh, was it a dry break from Viado? What happened? No, no, no. It wasn't a dry break. He he was kind of hooked on the one. He played a little carom off the one with the nine ball, a little funky in the corner, and he hung the nine ball. One ball dressed up pretty good, but did not go down. So wow. five, five one five big to one is a massive lead in this yeah. format. Especially the way he's breaking to like later on in the day, you know. He's going through these racks in about like two minutes a piece, like full SVB mode. Looks like Lee Van Corteza taking a little break over there, talking to, is that Roland Garcia? No, who is that? Yeah, it's Roland. That's Roland, yeah. It's a little dark. Not underneath the light, can't really see. Yeah, they're just waiting on Josh over there. Josh uh, just finished that match with Evan. He was going to grab a bite at the bar and then uh, get to playing, so. Nice, nice, nice. That'll be on ASAP. All right, here we go. 5-1. 
Heavy eyes. Nine ball down. One ball's going to hold. No shot, though. Three ball's kind of funny. What do you like here, man? Uh, if I'm SVB, I like as thin as possible on the one. Maybe send it towards the three and the four, so that you know if it's on that side of the table. You want to drag the cue ball over to the three four? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. The one ball. Ah, okay. He's banking it. He's there might be a two-way shot here, actually. A one pocket shot. Going to the three, maybe have a shot well, on the two. Yeah. And you bank the one in the corner. You bank the one at pocket speed, so yeah, it, yeah. it dresses up kind of in this area if it doesn't go. And then, uh, you know, the cue ball's over here somewhere, and you've got to look at the two if it goes, and, and you're covered if it doesn't. That's a real, real good shot. I like it. Yeah. Can handle a lot of... Uh, issues on the table so a little, little on the long you don't want to hang it though yeah that's real nice that's great that's real nice he left the kick though left the little kick and stick i think he can see the face of the ball too you think? the left side yeah i do well, maybe I like the kick and stick, even if you can see the one. You got one part right. Good enough. And a great shot there. He played it like that to kind of just drag the yeah, ball down. Yeah, he played it to, to yeah. not hit the one full. Yeah. And now you got to go. You got to really tighten it up off the rail. You got to go here. I mean, you got to go all out. You're, you're trying to make the ball or you're loser act, really, from here. I mean, well, you three sell ball's out. still in a tough spot, though. You sell out so often from here if you don't make the ball look at this oh boy look at this he's got a big pocket now well actually i think the three ball kind of screwed the auto yeah i think you're right look at the way you look at his gesturing yikes no good there's no combo here because the one's too close to the rail. There's a carom on the I three. You would make the one, but you think it goes? Yeah, I think it goes, but you just gotta hit it great. You gotta hit it like like your Carlo Beato. Uh, you know. Yeah. And matter of fact, I think you can play it just a hair, just a little bit into the rail. No. You don't think so? No chance. I think the reason he's taking so long is because the distance between the cue ball and the one. And so the speed at which you need to hit the cue ball to make it come back here and have a, any kind of decent look at the two makes the pocket infinitesimally smaller. Like, just so small. It, it, just watch. He called the ball. His finger's still doing the... He the played moves. the carom. Yeah, even if the one goes right there, you're not shooting it because you're talking about like, you know, like a quarter inch of space between the rail and, and the three ball, like a quarter inch of give. Now what are you doing? Ducking. I don't know how, though. Shoot the one past the five. Either the one or the cue ball is going past the five. Hmm. Left a big, long jump for SVB. This is like the jumping equivalent of the mighty X-Drill right here. Just 
Sticks out the tongue a little bit. Goes into hard focus mode. Doesn't pick up the jump cue, though. He's kicking. So he can only see the left side of the one ball here, right? I'm assuming that's why he didn't grab the jump cue. I mean, he's not gonna back up this ball, is he? No way. He's looking at it like he's hoping he can see the whole pocket. I don't know. The one pocket bank. He called the back cut bank here. The Tony Chohan special. Billy can hit that bank real good. Got to really just. I like twisting it a little bit whenever I do it, but the slide, I don't know. Yeah, wind out. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna go sell out. so often, but I don't know about the sellout though. Ooh, never mind. Leo Soto, we are live. Live out of Las Vegas, Nevada. At the world famous Griff's Bar and Billiards. Oh. Uh oh. What what does Fetter say right there, guys? What does Fetter say when a shot like that happens? What does he say? Don't worry, the chat will show you. Okay. Nobody knows. Don't worry. Uh oh, spaghettios. There it is, Steve coming in with the uh oh spaghettios. <laughs> Troy, uh, Trevor Roy knows. Hmm. And he also says no bueno. <laughs> I tell you what is bueno is if you're betting on SVB right now. You're feeling pretty good. Pretty good. Shane Van Badass. Oh, that's that's a nickname right there. I don't like that one. This guy yeah, ever punch just, a ball? He's man. dialed in, man. He's, he's dialed punching in. Punching them like they're, like it's already in the hole. Let's do. Can we do some looking on the bracket and see uh, who he has a potential of facing down the road? Let's see. Check out digitalpool.com. Search U.S. Open ten ball. Hey. Marky Mark, by the way, thank you for the $25 super chat. It's the first time he's ever super chatted on a live stream. Nice. Shout out to Marky Mark. Oh, he plays the winner of Daniel Maciel and Roland Garcia. Daniel just coming off of a Hill Hill win over Mario He. Roland Garcia defeated John Mora 9-6. They are going to be starting uh, the next round here in a little bit. Look who else is having a good tournament with a winnable match in the next round. Who's that? Nick DeLeon. Oh, yeah, Nick's, well, I mean, Nick also got a real good draw, though, too. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still, the next match is, it's not a guaranteed loss. You know, you no know, no match is a guaranteed loss, but you, you get what I'm saying. It's not yeah, like yeah. he's Well, Nick's, Nick breaks the ball. Nick's, Nick breaks 10 ball extremely well. Yeah. So, he's going to be, he's going to be able to give the winner of Vitali and, uh, Cena. and Cena a run for their money, no doubt.
All right, Carlo is running out of time here. And he's breaking the ball pretty good, but just not being able to get anything going after. And this is much the same. It's been the case here. A couple of mistakes. Shane just playing like a freight train and, you know, 6-1 and nothing after the break again for Carlo. Yeah. What's How's Fetter looking? Uh, you know? We'll check out that score in just a minute. Okay. I know I'm getting a few more uh, <clears throat> people in the chat talking about the audio cutting out. Refresh your page. I believe YouTube is having an issue uh, with their, like, internal workings. So just hit refresh on your page. It should give you a better connection. Because I've got I've got good numbers uploading here, so, uh, but yeah, we can check out Ooh. the match between Feder Gorston and uh, Oliver Ruger. Current score seven to five in favor of Oliver Ruger. Look if out. Oliver Ruger gets to the hill, we're watching that match for a minute. Are you gonna go yellow card him if he gets to the hill? <laughs> <laughs> you can watch that whole match uninterrupted on Fetter's YouTube channel. Is he live right now? He is live. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, oh, my days. Oh, great shot. Never in doubt. No. Playing safe all the way. Yeah, never. That was a safe 100%. Yeah. I believe it. Carlos got this, like, head scratch. It's not quite like Efren, but it's his own unique yeah. tail. It's, he's got like a pose that he hits. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got like a, he yeah. does one of these. Oh, no. yeah. Where's he kicking? Two rails? Z or kick? underneath? underneath? Mm, did he get a rail? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got a rail. Yeah, he wow. did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. It was a good shot. Holy shot. He got up on his tippy toes there just to make sure he hit it too. Yeah. A little close. Look at him, like, standing with a wide base. Well, get comfortable there, Shane. Easy there, Shane. <laughs> okay. Easy, buddy. Okay. It's not that kind of stream. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Is he going Bustamani? Behind the back? Oh, no. Just creating distance here, I would think. Or, or going behind the other side of the nine. Yeah. He's, He's trying distance. to do a lot. He hit it great. He hit it great. You you held it with a three ball. You you faded the nine. And you hit that really good. Yeah. <laughs> hey Mark, uh, I got this guy with me. Molina Mike, the one and only. He doesn't really have anything to say. But no. No. no, no. <laughs> it's been a long week. No, nope. thanks to everybody for tuning in. We appreciate all you guys for hanging out with us. It's been a hell of a stream so far. It is, and it's only the beginning. And today especially is going to be um, unbelievable because we're playing down to at least 16 players. So the matches are only going to get better and better. Hey, Matt Dolan and Scott Pryor, thanks for the, thanks for the little... Venmo, um, and it sounds like I got a package at the front desk, and I'm going to go find out what it is. Here? Yeah, someone just told me that Chris just received back. Oh, ah, okay. Okay, nice. What did I miss here? I was too busy talking with Collins. Looks like Shane's got ball in hand and shooting for an early... An early 10. Surprising because everything's out in the table, out in the open, rather. But he likes it. I like it. Run with it. Let's do it. 110 in the hole. 7 1 SVB. And look, cue ball was safe either way. So uh, let's see. Oops. There we go. And the break. Lee Van's still warming up on the other table. They're waiting for Josh. I don't know. Yeah, he's been, he's been dealing with this match for a little bit, but hmm. we'll see.
that break. Brutal. Might be dry, though. He is. Carlos going to get a shot here. Two ball is going to get locked up with the nine. And he's straight on the one as well. It's funny. Shane taps the table, frustrated, even though he's up 7-1. Being the ultimate competitor, he wants to dominate, and he knows how dangerous Carlo is. They got a lot of respect for one each other, for one another. Both very decorated players. Nice. Replacement candy. We ran out of gummy worms and someone sent freeze dried cosmic crunchies. Nice. They're like freeze dried Skittles, I guess. We still gotta get some more worms though for sure oh no oh wow Let's see. yeah let me just help you out Shane why not are they good hmm. I think my daughters have gotten these before but I've never tried them hmm not the worms but they're good the face was just making yeah. When you first have your first one, you think like, what's going on here? You're taking it all in. You're just kind of like, what is... Yeah. Cosmic Crunchy. Mm. <laughs> we'll try not to chew in your ear. We'll put him down for a second. Let's watch the rest of this match. Just had to try him out the gate. Want to drink? Uh, water. Thanks. Gosh, I hope not, uh, Matthew. Me? Yeah. I got to step out for a second, guys. Well, I just received news for those in the community that are uh, aware of this gentleman. He's been a fairly prominent individual in, in certain parts of the community in the country. Uh, Ken Sarge, I guess, is, I was just told, in the ICU with heart failure. So those of you that have known him, uh, drill instructor Ken Sarge, uh, send your prayers his way and to his family. Best wishes for all involved with that situation. But uh, back to the match, we have Shane Van Boning getting on the hill, and Carlo Viado's only got one game. I mean, it's not impossible at this point, but Carlo's got to be feeling it. Carlo's got to be feeling the frustration for sure. And uh, Fedor Gorst on the table next door breaking. I wonder what the score is there. Score between Federer Gorst and Oliver Ruger tied at 7-7. Seven to seven. If that goes Hill Hill, you better believe we're watching that. Thank you. I just came for the 
handy. I'm not going yeah. to hang out with you. Anymore. Yeah, of course. Well, a ball down. And a look at the one with a good angle towards the two ball. Carlo Beato looking to make a small dent in this massive deficit. Oh, let me see what we're going to have up next then. Because I have no idea what we're going to do. Uh, if Lee Van and Filler haven't started. One? If they yeah. haven't started, do you want to just put a pause on it? Send them over there? Yeah. I can do that. Josh will just go to the table then. Yeah, go see I'm what they think. Out. What's going on here? I'm looking. What is this guy doing? Oh, is he looking for an autograph? Was he just looking for an autograph? <laughs> guys, they're in the middle of a match, guys. What is going on in Las Vegas? Carlo narrowly avoiding the scratch and overrunning position a little bit. It's going to be pretty tough to make this ball and cinch the cue ball close to the corner pocket to get ideal position on the four. He's probably just someone that's in town and saw that Shane Van Boning was sitting at a table playing pool and figured he could get an autograph without realizing it's in the middle of a tournament. Yikes. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm definitely building an arena next year. <laughs> if they invite me back to stream this, I am definitely building an arena. Hill, Hill, Victor, and FSR two tables down. Guys, let's go see that situation as soon as possible. Let's finish Carlo making these two balls and go take a peek. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. This, this match is so far SVB in the lead here. I'm going to keep an eye on my secondary camera here. And we're going to kill the scoreboard for a second. And this is a hill-hill game on the one-loss side between FSR and Victor Zielinski. I think I can get a picture-in-picture -picture going here, actually, guys. Let me get my picture-in-picture -picture going. get a small picture in picture so we can at least see what's going on in case something dramatic happens between SVB and Carlo but there's such a disparaging score between them uh, I think that this is the more interesting match to watch at the moment uh, pardon the glare on the table FSR's uh, dark colored shirt is causing the camera to uh, uh, kind of wash out the table due to the difference in lighting so that should go away as soon as FSR steps away from this position um but this is a big, 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 big rack in the context of the entire tournament. Um. I know it's real small for those of you on your phones. But this should do for now. There you go. There we go. We're sweating it. Lee Van's head is in the way. But at least we know what's going on, basically. 
Victor Zelinski with a, a spot where he's trying to kick rail first and make the ball. What's Lee Van snacking on right now? I wonder if it's these uh, Cosmic Crunchies. Doesn't make the ball. One ball ends up on the short rail. Can't tell if the cue ball's tied up in another ball. I think he's got a window to the one. Uh, sorry, guys. That dude, Lee Van Corteza, is uh, in the middle of a match. so He's fine right where he's sitting. SVB finishing that rack and moving forward on the winner's side. Carlo Beato concedes the match, it looks like. Carlo Beato sent to the one-loss side.